It's time for an advanced technique while using Tinkercad Sketch. So let's get cracking. This is Tinkercad.com. If it's your first visit, I always choose sign in with Google. Quite often we create a brand new 3D design. Today we're going to play with one of my former designs. I'm also going to show you that I don't want to wreck it. So I'm going to click on the gear and I'm going to choose duplicate. This gives me an exact copy of the project, so no matter what I do, it does not break the original. So this has two tutorials in it. Of course, you've got the Tinkercad Star tutorial. It takes nine minutes. These print awesome, and they're a ton of fun. This tutorial was showing you how, if you only wanted to print two, you can get rid of them in the slicer. It is a neat technique as well. Of course, I'll have the bit.ly for all of those up above. All right, so here's the fun thing. I found a way to push these through so I can print them in one color, take them all apart, and then snap the new ones together. If you want to see a short showing that, I'll have it listed right up here. I have got some that have been snug, though, so I'm going to create a new part using Sketch to push them through. I'm going to do Control-D, move this part over using Shift-Nudge. Now, I only want to trace this top part. I'm going to show you this real quickly if we bring out the Sketch tool. I'm going to bounce out of the sketch tool and then I'm going to align these using the letter L and I want center and center. When I double click on my sketch, you'll notice this puts it right in the center, but you'll also notice that we've kind of got double the shape because of the way it takes the 3D image and turns it into the 2D version that we're looking at from above. We're going to fix that real quickly by hitting finish sketch and then I'm going to cut all this shape off except this top layer. Simply bring out a cube. I'm going to stretch the cube across. I'm going to switch my nudge to point 0.1. And then as we bring this down, I'm just going to get it so it just shows that very top. And then I'm going to grab the two shapes. Notice it says two. If I go too far, I get the blue one as well. So I only want those two. Select them. Double check two. Do control G to group. Now I can take this and hit D to drop. It is still completely centered. And when I double click this time, we have got the single design instead of that double design. And it's exactly in the center. Now I want my part that's going to push through to be about halfway across these lines. To make it easier to line up, I'm going to switch to a 0.25 nudge. And I'm going to simply move up one, two, and move across. And move across and move across. Now here I can tell it's close, so that would be the 0.25 out, and I'm just matching this all the way across. The middle is the easiest to find because we have it centered. If we hadn't done that old line, it would be a little bit wacky. And notice if I look at this gap right here, I can match that gap right here as well. Once again, snap, snap, and we don't have to be perfect because I'm gonna show you we can modify this when we're done as well intentionally making those a little bit off just so it's easy to see how we modify it. So you can see here, all of these angles are off. To fix it, we just double click. I'm gonna grab this whole line and move it up one. I'm gonna grab this whole line and move it out one. This one needs to come down a piece. This one needs to move up a piece. Just like that, you can get your parts exactly where they need to be. That looks good all the way around. And are you ready for this? Finish sketch we have got the awesome push through. I'm gonna make this 16 millimeters high, and then I wanna create the part this sets on. I'm gonna do Control D, and I'm gonna move this part out of the way. I'm going to double click on this one, and let me show you how easy it is to modify it to make it the part it stands on. So of course, I'm gonna double click to edit. I'm gonna grab all of these lines, and then I'm gonna nudge one, two, three, to get it out to that edge. That's a little too close. So I'm just gonna come back one because I want it to be completely inside the shape. And then I'm gonna grab this side and do the same thing. One, two, and this side, one, two, and this side, one, two. Because of the nudge and being able to set these, we can hit finish sketch and we have built it that fast. Now I wanna cut out the middle so I'm gonna quickly hit control D. I'm gonna click on one of these, make it a hole. I'm gonna double click on the hole and then we can simply double click to edit and let's bring this in one, grab all this and go one. If you accidentally click outside, just double click to get back in edit. There's my one click 
and my one click. If you go the wrong way, you can do control Z to undo. I think I'm gonna try and go in two clicks on all these. There's one more, one more, and finally, one more. Finish sketch and check it out. When you group those two, control G, we've got two parts with a perfect fit. To make it easier to see, I'm gonna put the colors and you can see it fits exactly around it. L for a line and bing, bing. We have just done an advanced sketch wall. Push that down in so you can see that they don't touch. And finally, here's one of my favorite things. If you need this to be larger, check it out. Double click. Double click on the outside, not the inside. And you can instantly get in there and edit it the same way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And finally, one, two, three. Finish sketch. Click so it rebuilds. And all of a sudden, you've got perfect walls for your new part. How cool is that? As I wrap up, of course, I just want to highlight, I love the sketch tool. So many cool applications for being able to trace a design. Using the arrow keys to nudge is a cool way when you're working with straight shapes like we were today, but also if you had a neon sign, this is a great way to push the whole shape out a little bit wider after you trace it so you can make a lip to rest a top on or make a lid or anything like that. I do want to quickly highlight, I have got a sketch tool playlist. Of course, you can find it with the cards or the bit.ly up above. I do want to quickly say thank you for everybody that's chosen a YouTube membership, three different levels of support, and of course all support is appreciated. I also want to say thank you to everybody that supported me via Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely Absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.